Hi guys, oh, welcome. Time to test the new code I've written yesterday. I looked into the code of Slick Greeter, so that's the one from Linux Mint. And there are parameters. You can set how is the Linux Mint Greeter going to look. And as of now, I'll call it the Slick Greeter, that's the name. So inside login here, we have SDM, LightDM, LXDM. And in here, we have something new. Only the Slick Reader background color can be set. If you want the color, select it to use it. Now, you know that I'm not interested in providing you less knowledge, right? And apps do that to you, provide less knowledge because it's a click, right? And then you think, I know Linux, it's, and then the app crashes and you don't have no clue what to change where. So in the etc lightm slickgreeter.conf, we have parameters. And if we change the parameters, things are, well, will improve. So one of the things, for instance, if you do not select the color, everything is set also back to normal. The background is gone here. So we used to do a wall, one of the walls, select, and then you have a wallpaper for the slick reader. But if you say, never mind, eh? don't use the color because the color and the background image is in the same line. So it's back to nothing. And it says here, background file to use either an image path or a color. And then we have this number here. So the hexadecimal color number need some explanation that means that we have this this thing here that we can change and and look around and these are the the colors the red green blues right and this little bit is red that little bit is green and those two are blue so these guys are a reflection of whatever you do in here and you can also turn this guy over and stuff like that that means you have now 16 million colors, give or take a few, right? It's all about choices all the time. Now, the most, the nicest thing I feel anyway, is a gray kind of thing. So we have the zero zeros. You can also type it in here or just drag down. And then you have the all zero, meaning the light is out. All up, meaning the light is completely on. So this is the max and the other one was the min. So this in between gives all kinds of colors. What I wanted to say is if you go down this axis and you see E9, 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 three times the same thing, red, green, blue, C6, 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 it's always gonna be gray. And the lower you go, the darker the gray kind will be and gray is certainly a nice way to be greeted, right? 696969. 69, 69. 69 en français. If we apply the setting, it's gonna be, whoa, right? Good that I made a mistake. If you don't select it, select it to use it. Ah, yeah, right. Apply settings, because then when there need to be a switch. Is there a, a wallpaper coming or is there a color coming? So that's the switch selected to use it. Background is 696969. How does this look? First, nice, quit ATT, close it nicely, no pop-ups. Yep, and then we have the LightDM greeter, right? This is not the slick. How do we know this? LightDM greeter is in the middle. Slick greeter is to the left. That's an easy thing to remember. Let's make sure because we need to reboot and I want to be sure that the sleep reader is active, right? I can't recall if that was the case. Voila, install Lightium. So it's not installed. It's now installed and active. Okay, now we need to reboot. If something goes wrong, think, right? There's always a reason. It's between the screen and the chair. That's the reason. And if you proceed like that, 
you will learn. So he welcomes us with something, a specific cursor, a specific theme, and then this gray, right? And I can choose lots of gray versions or a red or a yellow or a green or a blue. I mean, I mean, it's up to me to decide what color I'm greeted with, what theme I'm greeted with. Let's play around one more time. Change the colors of the cursor and all that. The slick reader does not have a cursor. There's no setting for it. Right? This is the setting. And if you see something interesting that you say I want to try, go in here, change it manually. Okay. What I wanted to do is the following. What if I select a color? Now this time a little bit darker even something like that and apply then we have three four three four three four okay looking quite dark then theme name arc new mix dark that's this one mm. which way should we go paper paper dark paper dark the icons do not change a lot I have not seen change anything yet Bibata modern ember can be changed here but as you see there is no cursor not in the slick greeter okay fine but you want the mod Bibata modern eye so this is basically this one you're looking at apply settings We've made something new in the last videos. I've shown you that the fixes here contains choose your cursor globally. So this is a top level way of changing things inside Linux. Top level. We bought a modern Amber. Let's go to the ice. That's what I want and apply that one. And it's still open. Thank God. Right there it is. User share icons default. Index team is now Pibata Modern Ice. Slick Reader is still the gray. Okay, then we can reboot. Quit ATT, log out, and now I'm greeted like this. I've got the mouse that I like, that I'll have later on my desktop. This is the bluish kind of look. I don't know, there are other colors to choose from. There are many arc themes, right? It could be pink, could be yellow, could be blue, could be green. You just choose what you like. I'm not entirely sure that I like this. I like it something more of a gray kind of look. That would be nicer. But, right, 60 million colors. It's up to you to choose the color. All right, have fun with the new edition. Cheers.